All right, hi everybody. In today's experiment, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of dialysis tubing, um, about a 10 centimeter piece of dialysis tubing, and we're gonna put uh, on one end, we're gonna put a clamp, and then we're going to open up the tube to make it into a bag and we're going to put um, egg albumin inside the bag. It'll be a mixture of egg albumin with about 10 milliliters of water. And so that'll be our protein source. So we'll put that in our dialysis bag and then we're going to put in about 10 milliliters of starch inside the bag. And then we're going to put about 10 milliliters of a glucose solution, 1% glucose solution, 10 mils of that, and then a solution, um, a, a sodium chloride or salt solution. We're going to put that in the bag as well. And we put that inside about 10 mils of that. And then we're going to put a clamp on the other end of that to make it basically a bag that has those components inside. And then we're going to take that bag and we're going to get an initial reading on the weight of the bag. So we're going to weigh our bag on our scale and you might want to record that weight down for later. And so we're going to get the weight of our bag with the chemicals in it. And then we're going to place that bag inside a beaker filled with water. Uh, and we're also going to put iodine inside that. And so the question we're asking here is we want to know what can come out of the bag and what goes into the bag. So we let this sit for about one hour and then we see what happens as the experiment continues. So while that's uh, doing its thing, doing its magic, if you will, uh, let's go over the test results uh, for a positive t test results for the reagents. And so there's two here that we have not done yet. And so let me show you what a positive salt test looks like. And let me show you what a positive protein test looks like. So for salt, we use um, a chemical called silver nitrate and when you have silver nitrate, it makes this white cloudy color for a positive salt test. And for protein, uh, we're going to use these protein test strips, which change color based on the concentration of protein. So if we dip that inside our solution, uh, we can see how much protein we have. And based on the color, you match it. That tells you whether you have protein or not. So that's how you do those. The other two, uh, ones we've done before, starch and glucose. And if you need a refresher, um, I will put a link up for that video where I cover those test reagents that we did once before. Okay, so back to our dialysis bag in our beaker. Uh, to speed things up, I'm going to increase the video speed by 15 times so that we can get to the results quicker. So we're going to speed the video up, uh, but notice, if you will, in the bag, um, it's interesting to notice that the bag, and this is important for one of the results, you'll notice that the bag is turning sort of a dark color, a dark blue or dark purple color, dark black, whatever you want. Um, so you can see this sort of change in the color of the bag and that color change is on the inside of the bag. And that is important as one of the results uh, that we'll get to here in a second. One of the first things we are gonna need to do is we're gonna need to weigh the bag. So let's get the weight of our bag now. Okay, after that, we will take a protein test strip. We'll just dip it in our beaker and we will compare that to the chart on the tube to see if it has protein in it or not. 
Okay, now we'll take a sample from the beaker to see if the other chemicals came out. So we take a sample from the beaker and we're going to first test for starch. So we put some iodine in and that's our result there. Okay, so now we're going to test for salt. So we take another sample from our beaker because we're trying to see if the salt came out of the bag. So we take a sample from the beaker and this time like before, uh, we're going to use silver nitrate to test for the presence of salt. So I put my silver nitrate in and there's my result there. Silver nitrate is toxic and corrosive, so it requires special disposal. So we put it in a hazardous waste container, whereas the other materials um, simply go down the drain typically. So our last test is for glucose. So once again, we take a sample and this time we use Benedict solution to test for glucose. And you might remember that this one requires heating up. So we put our test tubes in the beaker with hot water on the hot plate and the test tube indicated by the arrow is the one we're testing for. The one on the right is a negative test for glucose. So you can see it changing color right there. And so that is our glucose test. And then once again, here are all the results uh, together. So you can see the starch, the salt, and the glucose test and the protein test all in one spot.